In this presentation, we'll take a look at the storage migration service, which makes it easier to migrate servers to maybe a newer version of Windows Server, or maybe to migrate workloads to newer hardware or virtual machines. Now, the idea is to be able to do all of this without apps or users having to change anything in terms of their configuration. So the process begins with creating an inventory of all of the servers that are going to be involved and the associated data that will be migrated. Then, of course, it actually transfers the data from one to the other. And then optionally, you can take over the identity of the source server, which is also referred to as cutting over, so that, again, users and apps don't have to change anything to access the existing data. And Windows Server 2019 makes this easier by centralizing the migrations all within new Windows Admin Center in interface. Now, there are certainly requirements to implement this feature. You do need a source server from which you will migrate the data. You need a destination server to which you will migrate the data. And you also need an orchestrator server, which manages all of the processes. Now, if you are only using a small number of servers in terms of the migration overall, then you can use either the source or destination server as the orchestrator, provided it's running Windows Server 2019. If you're migrating a lot of servers, then it is strongly recommended to use a separate orchestrator server. And again, all of this can be managed through the Windows Admin Center, but it should be noted that you can also use PowerShell. And in terms of some other considerations, you do need a migration account to use that is administrative on both the source and the destination servers. You need an inbound firewall rule for file and printer sharing, or SMB, the server message block protocol, that has to be enabled on the orchestrator computer. And you need additional firewall rules on both the source and destination computers for file and printer sharing, or SMB in, the net logon service, or NP in. In, Windows Management Instrumentation for DCOM in, and Windows Management Instrumentation for WMI in. And in terms of the Active Directory Domain Services configuration, all systems should be in the same forest. In terms of the requirements version-wise, on the source server, you can have just about anything. It goes as far back as Windows Server 2003, but quite a comprehensive list here, including variations on versions for 2019, 2016, 2012, 2008, and even some of the essential systems there and small business server additions. But the destination server is certainly a little more limited in terms of the version. It must be either Windows Server Semi-Annual Channel, Windows Server 2019,